QCodes is a software framework for experimental quantum physics, which is provided by the universities of Copenhagen, Delft, Sydney, and the Microsoft Quantum Computing Consortium. It's an open source Python project, which is free to use and free to contribute for everyone. So why does it actually make sense to use QCodes? First of all, it's a very modern and state of the art pro uh, software project. So uh, when you use it and you start to go in, to dive into the software, you learn a lot about how modern software is actually written. And since it's an open source uh, project, you can also contribute to the software and you can uh, share the things that you, that you learn across your way. And you also can put that project into your CV. So you can also show others that you learned how to work in a big consortium of people uh, working on a big software project. On the other hand, it also makes things for you a lot easier because it provides you with a lot of stuff which you don't have to do. So first of all, you get a lot of drivers for different lab instruments. You get plotting routines, you get uh, data measuring routines, you get data storage with the help of databases. Uh, you get a big community which you can ask a lot of questions if you have them and you also get a documentation for free. So there's not a lot which you have to do by yourself in the end because all the work is kind of equally contribu uh, distributed across the community. Why does it make sense to work with Q codes? First of all, you can save a lot of time because you have a basically state-of-the-art software framework provided already for you, which is free to use. So you just uh, go ahead and install Q codes and what you already get is you get a lot of instrument drivers for all of the very common instruments that you find across different quantum labs. Then you also get a lot of measurement infrastructure already so you can basically use internal functions to make measuring a lot more um, effective. And efficient and then you can also use things like the data storage concepts which is implemented in QCodes already so you can save your data in a database and you can also use features like live plotting in order to plot your data immediately so there's a lot of stuff already provided for you and if you want to extend it, it since it's an open source project you can simply hop into the open source project and then together with the community develop that software uh, to whatever you want it to be. And that already brings me to the second point. So if you want to learn how state-of-the-art software is working and to, you want to learn how to work on big software projects, then this is also very interesting for you because it offers you the opportunity to learn how to work in a um, community-managed software project. Another interesting thing about QCodes is uh, that a lot of different teams in the quantum computing uh, field are already working with that. That means if you want to change your team, if you want to uh, cooperate with other teams, then you don't have to learn everything from scratch again, but you can just go inside and then with your QCodes knowledge already start measurements very easily and that makes things a lot more efficient. The same is also true for sharing data because of the reason that QCodes are structuring everything in databases. You can also very easily share data between different facilities if you are all working with QCodes. So this tutorial series is meant for students who are working in a quantum computing lab or a lab that is using QCodes as a software for the first time. It is very helpful to know some basics about Python, but no worries if you don't know the basics about Python. I will just put you a link down below the video uh, to a course, to an open online course, which teaches you the very basics about Python. Um, and that's also it. You only need to know the very basics. So you don't need to know every single detail as I will guide you through the process of installing the software and then also writing your first script, writing your first measurement and then also learning how to live plot your measurements, how to store data in the database and so on. As time goes by, I will also produce more and more videos according on uh, your questions and the things that you want to know about Q codes. So it makes also sense for you uh, to subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of that content. Uh, furthermore, I will also put all the links to the Q codes project and the GitHub uh, down below the video uh, so that you will also be able to look into the original documentation such as the open source project on GitHub.
And with this enough of these first words, so let's get started immediately. In the first video, I will explain to you how QCODES is actually structured. So I will tell you about all the very basic elements and then we will install a QCODES environment on our computer and start with the first measurements.